it covered up. I should be getting this. I don't see it now. Oh. Oh, no, what that All right. Oh, good. By the way, that was adorable right there. <laughs> yeah. That, that was something really special. What advice would you give a young couple getting married about being married? Pray together, play together, and accept what God gives you. Like it's compromise, give and take. She mostly takes. Is there any uh, secret to lasting so long? I don't know. Is there a secret? Not anymore. Because you're going to tell people. Is, is there a, any secret to being together that long? Because he's like, he wants yeah. To, what do they get out of it? Not well, a word. Two words. What do they get out of it? Two words. Yes, dear. <laughs> yeah, that that's that, that sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> Who was the first one to say I love you? <laughs> I don't remember. Probably me. Probably you. Probably. Yes. I'm yeah. Sure. yeah. I'm sure it was. Probably was. I proposed to her. Your hair looks nice. Your hair looks good. I don't know if he remembers. Um, when, do you remember when you proposed to me? No. We had bought our wedding rings, and then on the way out of the store and got in the car, he said, maybe I should ask you. <laughs> this young lady asked me out on her first date. She asked me, I didn't ask her. I thought, he looks really good, so I'm going to take him now. <laughs> we went to Speedbowl Park in Sterling, Illinois. And after, and we went with their parents. It's a racetrack. It's a racetrack on the west end of Sterling. Dirt. And afterwards, and we went with their parents, we went to a place called the Y Club which is right at that intersection, which I don't really have any idea how a restaurant would have fit there. And I remember we ordered chicken, that was a big thing, and I was terrified because I thought, I have like two dollars, but fortunately, her father paid the bill. I thought I was going to be washing dishes. <laughs> that, yeah, that would have been pretty embarrassing. I would be like, oh no, no. And back in those days, your automobile was the front seat was clear across. You didn't have this horrible thing in the middle. And it pulls up to where her sidewalk was on this side, the left side of the car. And, and uh, I was going to get out and open the door and her other side of my garage. Oh, I'll just slide over, she says. Well, she has this long dress on. And she gets out the door and her foot hit the dress and she fell. I forgot I had the wrong dress on. And she got up so fast she didn't give me the pleasure of picking her up. And that's the story. Ah! You remember that day? Oh, yes. It was hot? Extremely. And the church was not air conditioned. So he came to the house and the first thing he said to me, do you always look that way? I had just came home from work. I worked in an office, but that was his first comment. So who asked who out first? <laughs> oh, that's a... Are you ready for a long story? Right, go ahead, absolutely. Uh, I said to him, I need to go play in the band. He didn't hear me. He thought I walked off the floor that I didn't want to dance with him anymore. Well, I got done with my business, and I said to somebody, well, where's Bill? I thought he was going to wait for me to dance. Oh, he's out uh, outside. He's upset about something. So I went out to say, are you going to finish? Do you want to finish this dance? And from there on, if 
I had not done that, he never would have asked me out. So There's where we see the hand of God. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Love telling us. My dorm had one payphone, and there were like 900 students there. And so, on Sundays, you used to get a break on the bill or the rate, and there'd be like 50 people in line. And so, you get there early, and then it's kind of like waiting for tickets at a concert. It's like, and then if you had a lot of quarters, you could just hear this collective sigh. Oh, no. He's going to talk for four minutes, you know. Yeah, I know this. Is there any advice to keep the romance alive? Or the spice alive? So who is that you that fucking Oh he did. Was early. Sometimes you have to laugh at yourself and each other. That's just the way it is. Uh, when we sign in the dotted line, uh, my hair was a different color, and I had more of it, and uh, you just have to accept those changes. <laughs> my broad mind and narrow waist have traded places. So. What do you find more attractive about your spouse today than when you first got married? I think he's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, I'm not an ice cream man or something. What did her dad think of you? Uh, I think he thought we were, I was okay. Her uh, grandfather really liked me, so I had sort of an intimate thing, uh, which was kind of nice, you know, because he's kind of like the patriarch of the family, and it's like, okay, go to the top. Don't ask what the moon is. So. But no, they. Actually, her father and mother were both just wonderful people. She keep, keep you going, huh? We keep each other going. <laughs> Today we have a combined of 200 years of marriage between these four couples. Our couples are Lloyd and Joanne Cracker, who will be married 33 years this year. We have Betty and Bill Weedoff, who will be married 65 years this year. Carol and Dale Armstrong, who will be married 51 years this year. And then we have Jean and Carol Wright, who will be married 55 years this year. Yeah. Yeah. 200 years. 